good day and welcome to my channel where we make structural engineering design simple where we make structural engineering simple and easy my name is Olodu Konyedi and I'm your host today we'll be talking about um, um, how to combine um, footing also I want to thank everyone who has been subscribing to this channel and those who are yet to subscribe please hit that subscribe button and you will get notified anytime we put up a new video so today we got a question from Sayama Kai you didn't tell us where you are commenting from but you said hi sir I have a question we we can group part footing that has different column sizes for example part footing with column 300 by 300 and footing B with column 350 by 350 we can group these two into same size um, Simon Simon can yes we can yes we can we can group it and that's what I will be um, showing us today how to do that um, we have this let's assume we have um, uh, this and now uh, we want to combine these two um, uh, footings or these two columns so we we do this so to uh, already we if we right click and click property um, just give you some time this is 230 by 230 230 by 230 huh? your question said if we have 300 by 300 you click update and we can say yes give it some time uh, it will change good so it has changed good beautiful but normally how um, let's say this is now uh, property we click on property this we say 350 by 350 350 by 350 we say update give it some time to update uh, I think it has updated so we are seeing the difference but normally before you combine footings um, it's it's advisable that they are both closed and if the part footing will intercept both of them that's when you can do that so if you want to do that come to level zero when you come to level zero that's the foundation level now we have this and this um, already because I altered I altered this I will have to go back to all this okay let's let's because I altered the column I have to go back and or uh, and re rerun or analyze it all over again all over again so but one thing I would advise when you want to combine footing if, okay if you see now because of what we've done it's no longer active so we have to um, do that again so um, we have to rerun the analysis all over again so we allow it to run 
Okay, all well done. You close this. Um, let's say apply to the old model. We'll come back here. Um, we didn't touch this, but uh, let's do this. Go to design. Uh, give it time so that it runs. Come to analysis. Uh, we check here, check here, and we say start. So we give it time to run. Let it run. And once it's done, then we can go back to the foundation. Okay. Um, give it time to run. It will run its course. And when it finishes it, we will move over to the foundation. Yes. Okay, we're good. So uh, we'll close this. Or if you want further explanation, please check our previous videos. This I'm not um, talking about how to design the old model. We just want to design the combined footing. So if we come down here, these are the two footings. What you need to do is to alight both of them. Once you align both of them, right click, then click Combine, Select Columns and Wall for shared, shared Foundation Design. Once you say OK, it will show you this and you say OK. Uh, what you need to do next is to click. When you click, it should give you. Yeah, you right click. Once you right click, Insert Part Base. Once you do, if you've checked all the, the, the depth, but that's the thickness of the, the foundation, um, the soil bearing capacity, these are very important. And let's assume your soil bearing capacity is 150. Uh, let's say we do uh, 12. Please check our previous video. I've explained all this. So I won't be going into it again. You say calculate. And uh, once it shows you this, and you are seeing, and you are seeing um, this, it means um, there are some errors. And as you can see, you need to now edit this by either clicking this so that it moves. Okay, with 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 this. So, depending on how you want you want it to be, so with this, we have edited it. We have Y twelve at one twenty five. Y twelve at one twenty five. You say okay. Once you say okay, and you click okay, automatically it provides the 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 combined footing. So this is how you need to do your combined footing. How to how to do the combined footing? This is it. So um, um, Simon Ken, if you have um, if you ha still have anything on this that I've explained that is not too clear to you, please feel free to ask for further clarification and also if you have any other question please send it we will definitely respond to you this um, uh, beginning of the year has been an epic um, year for us we've been doing a lot of things but we will definitely keep putting on video please just keep um, uh, sharing your question we will definitely answer them as at when due and also if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please hit the subscribe button and uh, i want to say i love you and god bless you thanks